holding this Knights of Columbus rosary given to me by uh, some council of knights at some meeting in the past. And it's the rosary I keep in my car. And as I travel our diocese, I often find myself grabbing the rosary and whiling away the, the minutes uh, journeying to one of our parishes by meditating on these beads, by meditating on the mysteries of Christ's life, death, and resurrection. The rosary was a prayer that my parents taught us as children and that we prayed faithfully every day after supper as a kid, whether I wanted to or not. And what's emblazoned in my mind are the pictures of the mysteries that we would put on the coffee table as a focus of meditation. And we take turns being able to turn those pages. When I think of the mysteries of the rosary, I think specifically of those images formed in my childhood. So when we pray the rosary, we're really asking the Blessed Mother to open the storehouse of her heart and to share with us her treasured memories of Christ. It says in several Gospels that when Mary experienced something profound or even perplexing, such as Jesus being lost in the temple, it says that she stored all of these things in her heart. So when we pray the Hail Marys of the beads of the rosary, we're asking Mary to open her heart and to share with us uh, her experience of Christ. So devotion to the Blessed Mother is always going to lead us to a deeper relationship with the Lord. So I just encourage everyone in our diocese, if you don't already, to pray the daily rosary. It takes maybe 15 minutes, but it's a living gospel. It's a way for us to absorb and to be imbued into the central mysteries of our faith, the life, death, and resurrection of Christ, remembering them not as historical facts, but as living realities in our lives. There's been so many situations in the history of the church where people were persecuted, where the church was martyred, where the practice of the faith was not allowed in public. It was the private faithful recitation of the rosary that kept the faith alive in those terrible, dark situations of suffering and persecution. We're not suffering to that extent. And so what we call on the power of the Blessed Mother, that in our freedom to pray and to believe, um, she may intercede for us, love us, and help us to be disciples of the Lord in the challenges that we face. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us.